is Foundation Friday, and actually today I'm not testing out a new foundation. I'm testing out a CC cream from Lancome. This is a newly released product, and I'm always intrigued about these products, especially with summer coming up. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna start exploring more like BB CC cream options for the spring and summer. So I thought, why not start with this one? And this is, like I said, it's new from Lancome. I actually purchased this at Ulta. You can get it online and you can get it at the Ulta store. The sad thing about this is it only comes in five shades. This retails for $39. This is a CC cream with UV protection, moisturizer, and pigment in it. So it's kind of an all-in-one type product. I will leave a full list in the description box down below of several foundations that I wear and what foundation shade I wear in that particular foundation just so that you can use it as a reference now like I said this only comes in five shades and when I first bought this online I actually chose shade 3 which shade 3 says it's for medium skin tones and I would describe myself as a medium with warm like golden undertone especially when I'm wearing like fake tan but when I applied it it kind of turned me a little bit gray and I was actually on vacation for spring break with my family it wasn't like I was able to film what shade 3 looked like but I can describe it as you know how when you, when you apply a tinted sunscreen and it's too light, it will kind of give you like a gray cast on your skin? So that was what shade 3 did for me. So I kind of feel like shade 3 would be best for like a light medium skin tone. If you're a true medium and you lean a tiny bit warm, I recommend just going straight to 4 because I went ahead and took it back and got the shade medium for deep skin tones. And I will actually say that this matches my skin perfectly. And they did say it's supposed to kind of adapt naturally to your skin tone. So maybe that's what happened with using the medium to deep for my skin. If you have a deeper complexion, I don't know that there's gonna be a shade in here for you, which is definitely a bummer. I know it's a new product, but I feel like with this kind of product, they could have at least brought out like seven to eight shades. That would have been perfect. Five, in my opinion, is just not enough. I'm a medium with a golden undertone. There's only one shade darker than I am. So just think about that. The description on this product is, it is um, Lancome's UV Expert Mineral CC Cream SPF 50 is an all-in-one color corrector, tinted facial moisturizer, and SPF 50 sunscreen that provides transfer resistant, medium to full coverage makeup that lasts all day with 24 hour skin hydration and triple environmental protections from external aggressors like free radicals, UVA, UVB, rays, and pollution. So it is made with 100% mineral filters. This unique CC cream provides provides skin hydration while perfecting and visibly correcting skin imperfections. It is easily blendable and quickly absorbed. The appearance of imperfections are visibly reduced, including minimizing pores, wrinkles, fine lines, pimples, to leave the skin feeling hydrated, clean, and protected. Not greasy, sticky, shiny, or cakey, and no peeling. It's supposed to be sweat resistant for those of you who are super active and yet it's easy to remove. And let me say this though, when it said that it is supposed to leave the skin feeling hydrated, clean, and protected, non-greasy, sticky, shiny, or cakey, I don't agree with that. This is exceptionally shiny, you guys. Like, it's, all, it's a very, very thick emollient type sunscreen. So when you blend it out, it's exceptionally thick. I will say it's medium to full coverage. I would probably say that you could probably build this to a full. I don't know that you'd want to. This is exceptionally shiny and greasy looking. So the only way that I've been able to make this work is I have to apply this powder. This is the um, Airbrush Flawless Finish. Now you, you guys know most of the time I don't wear a lot of powders. If I do wear a powder, it's pretty much this one. If I was applying this product and I didn't have that powder to apply over it and I didn't wear powders, I would probably not like this product. So just know that going into this, you know, I'm gonna do a full review. I'm gonna apply it two to three different times on camera. Um, one time I apply it with my hands and then the other time I build it up with a brush. And I just want you guys to know that from the gate, this is pretty shiny and pretty, st it's not sticky, but sometimes I can feel a little bit greasy when I don't apply enough of that powder. This product does contain denatured alcohol. So if you guys have ever heard of denatured alcohol, it is a kind of one of those products that you really don't want to wear on a daily basis on your skin. It's not the best ingredient for the skin. I'm not exactly sure why they use that in this. If you are somebody that wears 
CC creams or BB creams on a daily basis. Because it contains denatured alcohol, I, I would not recommend this particular product, product for a daily use. So just know that, that if you're looking into buying this to use it on a daily basis, I don't recommend it. So that's it for all the information about the product. We're gonna jump straight into the applications. I've been wearing this every single day for 12 hours or longer. So I feel like I've really got a good wear time for, you know, for reviewing purposes. So without further ado, let's jump right into the application and I will see you guys in my final thoughts. Okay, so I am nasally. I have been sick all weekend. I had so much fun during spring break visiting my family and I come home and I'm super sick. I've been sick in bed all weekend, but I am not letting this get me down anymore. I've got to get back to work. So here I am if I sound crazy or if I get really, really tongue twisted, like more than I normally do, you know why, because my head's just not working right, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and put this on. Now I have just put a little bit right here just to make sure that this is gonna be the right shade. I did buy shade three. So I went ahead and returned it and bought shade four. So I do think shade four is going to be the right shade. It has this little squeezy tube and uh, this is actually one fluid ounce, I believe. Yeah, it's 30 mils. I'm just gonna start like putting this all over and I think I'm actually going to rub this in with my fingers. Like it kind of gives me that vibe. Oh, I might have put on too much, you guys. This has more coverage than I thought it would. Oh, okay, I gotta wipe some of it off because I, th I think I got too much. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't go in with as much as I did. Work, work in small sections. Yes, it feels a little bit greasy, but I kind of feel like this might be a good product to put a little bit of finishing powder over. It's super like uh, moisturizing, like it really wants to melt into the skin quite good. I am going to take my sponge and just kind of like press this in. But dang, this shade is so good. Now it does kind of have like a gray cast to it. And I'm assuming that that is the sunscreen. It kind of does have that tinted um, sunscreen look to it, but hopefully once I put the rest of my makeup on, that will kind of go away. Now I did not put on a primer and I did not put on like my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Inner Face Base or anything like that. But what I love about it is that it kind of melts into the skin and you really can't see it sitting on the skin. So as you can see, it just looks so like, much it just looks so much like my skin and it doesn't really look like I have makeup sitting on my skin which is the thing that I love about it the most I mean I love the way this looks it looks really natural and like I said I didn't go in heavy with any setting powders not yet anyways because I really need to apply my concealer but I think this looks really healthy and really pretty for being a CC cream let's go ahead and turn off the ring light this is what it looks like in more natural lighting and it still looks like my skin but better so I think that's what I like about it is that it doesn't really like I but I can't speak you guys it doesn't really look like I have anything on my skin but it just looks really natural and my skin looks evened out as far as like the tone. It provides more coverage than I thought it would. It is currently 9.49 in the morning, so I am gonna wear this for 12 hours or longer because it does claim to have a 12 hour uh, wear test, doesn't it? 24 hour skin hydration, so it doesn't really claim coverage. It, it claims to last all day, whatever that means. I'm gonna go ahead and jump off of here and I will see you guys later on for a midday check-in. Okay, so I am back for a midday check-in on this foundation. Oh, I can't really call it a foundation. It's not a foundation. I am back for a midday check-in on the CC cream and it is currently four o'clock. Come on, phone, four o'clock. Come on, there you go. Oh, you piece of, there you go. It's four o'clock. I just wanted to pop on here really quick and show you guys what this looks like about six and a half hours later. I love this. I love this. 
I love it. My skin looks so healthy with this on. And I love how refreshed my skin looks, how natural my skin looks, because I think that's the thing, like with this, with this, I wanna call it foundation, whatever. With this, like I didn't put, the only powders that I put on my face was the Charlotte Tilbury, and I kinda set it, it contoured a little bit with um, my KKW Beauty contour stick. And then I went in with my Wonder Beauty on the go blush which is a stick blush which I'm really really loving stick products right now and it's just kind of like a creamy and I just kind of popped it on my cheeks and left it so I really didn't want this to be like a full makeup day and um you know it's kind of one of those things now of course I am starting to lose coverage in this area which is my problematic area especially like I had all this cleared up and then I got sick and so it's starting to kind of you know, it is what it is. But on this side where I don't have the texture, like it looks really pretty. I think what I like about this is, see I just freshly shaved my face yesterday as well. So I don't know if you guys don't shave your face. Like I thought that was, I thought everybody did it. And then when I seen Jaclyn Hill's video, when people were like, oh my gosh, I'm too scared to. Like when I read the comments and I was like, I thought everybody shaved their face. Like I'm shocked that not, that everybody doesn't shave their face. I seriously, I've been shaving my face for years and I love my skin when I freshly shave it and I use the exact same razor as she does I use this one this one these ones are my favorite I just get them at on Amazon they're my favorite but just freshly shaved uh, last night or this morning I think it was last night but then going over it with this product I feel like this is gonna be that perfect summer product I feel like this is gonna be that perfect product to really protect your skin but give you a nice overall beautiful color I'm really I'm really impressed with this and I'm really excited to see how it's gonna wear with my Charlotte Tilbury Hollow and Flawless filter but I do kind of feel like you're gonna get some flashback so let's go ahead and take a picture right now with a flash so that you guys can see what this is gonna look like with a flash because I kind of have a feeling with all the sunscreen and stuff this might not be a foundation for a flash Okay, so yes, I have a white cast on my face. <laughs> I will put the picture up here. Um, this is not gonna be a foundation you're gonna wanna wear. If you're taking like f photographs and stuff like that, this is not it. But I don't feel like this moves around. That's another thing that I was kind of expecting this to do. I kind of felt like it was gonna move around. I felt like it was gonna be kind of greasy and kind of moving. It doesn't. like. Once I set it with that powder, it kind of set down and then it just stays there. And I already had people compliment me on my skin. This just really, really makes the skin look healthy and hydrated. I love the way it looks over my wrinkles. I love the way it looks over my pores. Okay, so this is with the beauty light on first and then we'll turn the ring light off. I'm losing my coverage right around here. I was thinking that maybe, I wonder how this will look a few hours later to just go in and put a tiny bit on like rub it in and kind of just see if this is a type of product that will let you do that, you know, like kind of let you go back in because it just blends like a lotion. Like it blends almost like, I mean, look how pretty that is. It just really blended right back into my skin. It's definitely something that you can reapply and not feel like it's going to get cakey because it's not a foundation. This is what this side looks like. I don't feel like I need to do that anywhere else. And even though I've lost some of the coverage up here on my hyperpigmentation, I'm okay with that. It's because it's a CC cream. So, you know, I I'm okay with that. But I, I especially love it over the pores because it does kind of give this lightning effect, like this really pretty highlighted effect to the skin that I was really impressed with. And I think that's the thing that I've noticed about it the most that I've really loved, especially in like the rear view mirror. I've, I hate my concealer right now, but I really love the way this looks right here on my pores area. It looks so beautiful. All right, let's turn the ring light off. So as you can see, this does not look kinky at all where I added a little bit of extra. So I think that's the thing with this product is that you can definitely kind of add it where you need it. I feel like this is the perfect beachy lake kind of product, you know, where uh, I've got mascara all over my damn 
eyelids. This is definitely the perfect beachy summer product and I I really I really like this. I really do. It's such a lightweight formula. I don't feel like I have a bunch of thick foundation on my skin. I just feel like it's perfect. Perfect perfect for the summertime coming and I like I said I think the only downfall is the shades. The shades are a big time bummer. I think they need at least five more shades in this. So that's it for this check-in. I don't know if I'll come back tonight. If I do, it'll just be a quick, you know, popping in to say, hey, what's up? And then I'm gonna wear this all week long and I will come back Thursday evening after wearing it for four days and give you guys my entire thoughts on this. I will see you guys in my final thoughts. I'm back for my late night check-in. I've been wearing this foundation for 12 hours. I know it's not foundation. Um, actually, I've worn it for 13 hours, so it's 11.08, so I've, I've had it on for 13 hours. And as you guys can see, this is where I added that coverage during like the midday, like the halfway point. And I've lost some of it, but I don't really feel like it's settled in any of my lines. Um, it looks really natural. I do kind of wish that I would have added a little bit up here because my hyperpigmentation is really coming through, but I am curious about this foundation. I'm curious if this is something that I can apply with a brush. So I think tomorrow I'm going to come back on and apply it with a brush and see if maybe a brush would give me better coverage, especially in this area and then right up here. So I don't feel like this looks too bad for being 13 hours later. Now, is it all day wear? I would say you're probably going to get good good wear probably six to eight i don't know that i would depend on this past eight hours it just really starts to break down even though it's broke down i still feel like my skin looks pretty good i do not like my under eyes my under eyes look really ratchet i'm trying out a new concealer which you guys will have already have seen the um video this is horrible tomorrow i'm gonna build it up with a foundation brush see if i can kind of build up that coverage and see if i can make that coverage last that's it for this check-in i will see you guys in tomorrow's application portion of the video day two i wanted to pop on here and show you guys how i can apply this CC cream with a brush just to see if I can build up coverage. So then I'm going to go straight in with the Hollywood Falls filter from Chouette Tilbury. I love this stuff. The reason why I love the Hollywood Falls filter is because I love how it gives that shine from within underneath my foundation. Some people wear it over, some people wear it under. It just depends on how you want to wear it. But I think I'm going to work kind of in sections. I'm going to put a tiny bit here on the back of my hand about like that. Just kind of like start stippling it with my brush. And just kind of see what coverage I can get from this product. Now, I'm only going to wear it with the Hollywood Flawless Filter today. So I'm only going to wear it this one time with it and the rest of the time I'll wear it without just to really give it a good test without this product because I know that not everybody uses the Hollywood Falls filter, you know? I feel like I'm just gonna put it all over and kind of build up the coverage and then kind of smooth it out with my sponge. I mean, I was able to build up pretty good coverage with that and it really just melts into the skin. I would say this is like a good full medium coverage. I'm coming in a little bit closer. I mean, look how good that looks. I mean, you just, it doesn't really look like foundation, which is what I love about this. It's so natural and yes, it's hella greasy. So I do need to set some powder down. I need to put some powder down and kind of set it down into place. But once I Okay, everyone, I am back for my final thoughts on this CC cream from Lancome. I've been wearing it since Monday. Today is Thursday. I've worn it every single day for 12 hours or longer. I have a lot to say about it, so I'm just going to jump right into it. I like this product, but I don't feel like this product is for everyone. And let me kind of break it down. The first thing I want to talk about is the sunscreen. As you guys know, I suffer from adult acne and there's a lot of sunscreens on the market that will break me out. This is a mineral sunscreen. When I'm wearing a product that has sunscreen in it, if it's going to break me out, 
I would say it probably starts happening about the second or day, third day that I wear it. This one I've had no problems with. So the sunscreen is good. I don't feel like it's going to clog the pores. I don't feel like it's going to break you out if that is a concern. I don't feel like this is an everyday product. I feel like this is the perfect product for those days where you just need something light on the face and walk out the door. I feel like this is perfect for the beach, boating, camping. This is the perfect summer outdoor product to wear on the fan, on the face. I didn't like it with my Hollywood Files filter. It just didn't look right. I do not recommend wearing anything with this but itself. This is what I wear on a daily basis as a moisturizer. This is my daily moisturizer. This is the from Dermalogica. This is the Dynamic Skin Recovery SPF of 50. This one I wear every day. But this and this it's like too much, you know what I'm saying? If you're gonna go camping, if you're gonna go boating, if you're gonna go to the beach, if you're gonna go out and mow your lawn or do yard work, or you just wanna throw something on the skin, you don't want any heavy foundations, maybe you're gonna be outside all day, you want your skin protected, this is a nice, richly pigmented skin protectant. And so, this doesn't really go with this. And I've got the best results just by wearing it as a moisturizer, a primer, and a pigment. So you basically, it's just kind of an all-in-one, throw it on the face, maybe throw a little bit of cream blush on the cheek and you're out the door. It's that kind of a product. I do think it's an amazing product. I do really, really like it. I, I wish that they didn't have the denatured alcohol in it. That was definitely a bummer, but wearing it once in a while isn't going to be that harsh on your skin. I've had so many compliments on my skin since I've been wearing this. When I went to the nail salon, I had compliments. When I went to the grocery store, I had compliments. I've even had people here on YouTube, you know, I filmed two videos. I filmed the Natasha Denona concealer video, and I also filmed the NARS, uh, where is that palette? The Orgasm Blush Palette. And I had a few people say, oh my gosh, your skin looks amazing. What are you wearing? And it was this. This does look really, really beautiful on the skin. I do not think this is for oily or combination skin. This is designed for somebody that has dry normal skin. If you're oily or combo, this isn't gonna be this isn't gonna be good. You really need to set this, you guys. I can't stress that enough. Even when I don't wear it with like my sunscreen underneath it or the Hollywood Falls filter and I'm wearing it alone, this is pretty greasy. Once you set it though, it is so pretty. I like this. I really love this. I think this is the perfect spring summer product. It's only designed for a certain type of person. I really am pissed that there's not enough shades in here. I just don't think the shades are good. If you're considering this for those outdoor days, I recommend going to Ulta. They they have all of them out there. I recommend shade matching because like I said, I did get the wrong shade. I was not expecting to have to go to shade four. I thought shade three would be perfect but it definitely wasn't for me personally. So I recommend going into your local Sephora, make sure that they have it. The employee that was helping me find this, she actually had a deeper complexion and she said that shade five worked for her, but it was a little bit too light and it gave her a little bit of that gray cast. And she liked it though, um, but she personally likes the Skin Feels Good better, which I do agree. If you want this, but you want to wear it on a daily basis, I would get the Skin Feels Good. I do not recommend this for oily or combination skin, but if you're, want, if you're wanting to buy this for a daily use, I would just get the Skin Feels Good. It's a tiny bit tacky, but once I set it with that powder, it stayed in place and I didn't have any issues with it moving or being really tacky or really greasy. It's just the only time I had that greasy feeling after setting it was when I was wearing it with a skin with a sunscreen underneath it and the Charlotte Tilbury. I really like it. It's something I'm definitely excited to have in my collection to throw it on. And also it's perfect for those no makeup days. My favorite go-to no makeup day is the Herborean CC Cream. This knocked it out of the ballpark. I get so much more coverage with this than I do this. I'm like shocked. 
So as much as I love this, and this was my favorite CC cream all last summer, this one's out and this one's in. I always like having a good CC cream in my collection, and this is just perfect, especially for those days where I don't want a heavy foundation on. This is undetectable on the skin, so it's perfect for that no makeup, just beautiful skin day, and I... I was, I was impressed with it. It's a really, really pretty product. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys again for all the love that you guys show me and this channel. It truly means the world to me, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day filled with love and happiness. I will see you guys right back here tomorrow at 11 a.m., and I love you all so much. Bye.